Hi, I'm here at Mobile World Congress 2024 in Barcelona at the Intel booth. And I've been talking to some people at the demos today about what they're doing with partners, both from a RAN perspective through to the core, to really push the sustainability agenda and improve energy efficiency. Hi, Parik. So we've Hi. been discussing um, what you guys are doing here around the 5G core. Now, mm -hmm. obviously, hot topic at Mobile World Con uh, Congress this year. And as in previous years, we've, we've obviously established 5G. Mm -hmm. And the talk now is all about the move to standalone 5G mm -hmm. and the difference that's going to make. Mm -hmm. And um, I think at the end of January, you know, there was a, around 280, 90 operators already launched 5G, but mm -hmm. only about 47, something like that, that are officially on standalone. Mm -hmm. so, now I know Intel are playing an important part in helping to kind of accelerate this, yep. essentially. And you guys had a big announcement um, in the last couple of days with Ericsson specifically and the right. broader ecosystem. So I'd just love to understand a little bit more about yep. Sierra Forest, what you guys are doing there. Absolutely, yep. Yeah, so what we're showcasing today uh, is a partnership with Ericsson where we're bringing through the breakthrough rack density with Sierra Forest. So what Sierra Forest is, is our eCore server CPU that's coming out in the next generation. Um, what eCore does for us is actually brings about efficiency. So the E stands for efficiency, and it's an efficient core versus our previous uh, generations of CPUs, which would all have been focused on performance. So eCores, what they do, what we're showcasing in this demo is the real great throughput per watt and sow per watt values we're seeing. Add that up into a rack scale deployment. We're seeing in our current install base, which is at eight kilowatts, Within that power envelope, we're actually seeing about 2.7x more performance per rack. This is because eCores e provide us with density and also extra uh, power savings for every bit of work that we do. And again, that's where the word for efficiency comes from. Um, what we're also doing, and again, in partnership with Ericsson, we're also showcasing uh, some of their, their early work that's been done on our Sierra Forest silicon. We've delivered that silicon to their labs. And they are currently testing that, where we're showcasing 45 or 43 percent energy reductions on their uh, current uh, user plane platform. So that is a huge reduction, and obviously another key theme that we've seen here is sustainability, and it continues to be, and importantly so. Yeah. So this is uh, really fantastic. Thanks for taking the time, Project, to share that with us. Appreciate you. it. Thank you. just having a chat about Cloud RAN at scale and specifically your partnership with Ericsson. Could you tell me a little bit more about what you guys are doing in the Cloud RAN space? Yeah, so we work with Ericsson uh, and other and our other eco partners, HP and Red Hat, uh, to help to deliver a virtual RAN solution. So what that means is that the Ericsson RAN application has been made cloud native so that it will work on any kind of standard hardware and software. And um, I can show you that here in, in more detail. That where would be great. With the previous generation of, of Intel Silicon, um, Ericsson needed to, because of capacity constraints, needed two servers. Now with our fourth generation uh, C on scalable processor with VRAM Boost, because of the increased core count, we go from 24 cores to 32 cores. Um, each of those cores has additional instructions that make, that are very applicable for, for the VRAM workloads. And then obviously we integrate the VRAM Boost into the CPU. So when you combine all of those, we're increasing capacity, we're reducing power consumption, um, and we're allowing Ericsson to move their application from two servers to one, which has obvious TCO benefits as well as energy saving. Yeah, it's fantastic. And yeah. then the final piece that we have as well is Ericsson uses our C-state technology. So this is standard technology that we bring from the data center and our PCs out to the RAN world. And by doing so, they're able to get a further 20% power reduction when things are quiet, when things, you know, obviously during a network, it's not always busy. But surprisingly, they're also able to get a 10% power reduction even when things are busy. So again, this is additional on top of the other power savings. Yeah. And so you can see from a cloud RAM perspective, it's really addressing those kind of sustainability goals that network operators are very interested in. Which is so important. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Tony. That's really great.